G'day folks, Andy here from McDowell Manor. I just <laughs> thought I'd show you the bird I affectionately call the buzzard. <laughs> He's a little male. Um, and he gets picked on unmercilessly by the other males. Oh, look, he's got himself a worm. Um, yeah, there he goes. And that's probably part of the reason he gets picked on. Gave up a worm for sex. Who would have thunk it? Anyway, <laughs> so that's the buzzard. There you go. Can you see my little visitor out there? That's um, an Australian magpie. So he's eating grubs and worms and stuff out in the back garden. The dogs are busting to get out and chase him, but of course I'm not going to let him. Um, he's one of the birds that probably would kill my quails. Um, hence I never leave the quails alone. Uh, but he's doing a great job at the moment picking up grubs and stuff. He's got a sore leg. I've watched, he can't walk properly. So he's just sort of constant, see him hopping? I'd say he's broken a foot or something that's happened there but anyway the poor bugger. Potatoes are doing better than I anticipated. I've got that lot there. Got a couple of lots out the front that I'm not going to bother showing you. That's chicken feed, that bag with a potato <laughs> growing right out the top of it. Behind that's cabbage. And that's the other bucket of potatoes. Um, seem to be doing quite well. I'm surprised. It's the first time I've ever grown potatoes and I did it from um, proper seed potatoes this time. Jeez, it makes a difference. Fair it's just flowering away, um, which is good. I'm just looking to see. Here we go. Down here, there's a little peach there to show you. So they are forming, which is great. Uh, happy about that. Over on the other side, here's my two dogs. But behind my two dogs, you can see the little lime that I rescued from around the front. Uh, it's now in flower. Might get our first ever lime this year out of that poor bloke and he's about four years old. Yep, I put him on the wrong side of the yard originally. The other thing's happening is the lemonades are coming in. You actually see the lemonade fruit there. That's the mad chickens. They're doing quite well. Um, it's been bloody cold at night here, uh, but beautiful, well, bloody cold. Uh, about eight degrees. We went down to four one night, uh, but beautiful in the day, so mid-twenties in the day. Uh, girls are back up to three or four eggs a day, which is great news. Still not quite enough sun on this side to really make the aquaponics beds worth too much bother at the moment. I bought some lettuces today. I was going to pop them in, but I decided against it. You know, they need another at least a month on this side till she really starts getting some sun. See the garlic, especially the elephant garlic, which is the bigger ones. Uh, it's still going okay. Like I say, the elephant garlic's going great guns. Um, I've replaced some plants in that bed where the bananas were. So I've split up the lemongrass. Yes, I know it looks terrible. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, that's a Madagascar bean centre screen, and that's another one over there. As you know, I'm a big, big fan of the Madagascars. Um, so that's plants that'll grow up along the back. And what we've done is put a whole bunch of lettuces in here that can grow along the front. Um, I'm pretty confident this is the sunny side, so they should be okay. I'm still sneaking sneaky cherry tomatoes in the back. Rosie's constructed a a, a, a thing that she's growing her snow peas on. I actually reckon she's a little late with those snow peas, but yeah, we'll see how they go. I'm happy to be proven wrong if I get a good feed of snow peas out of it. Her little herb bed continues just to go nuts. Holy guacamole, it's going well. First ever crop of um, blueberries. That's in a little wicking pouch that's sitting in a saucer so it acts like a wicking bed, a wicking pouch, grow pouch, whatever you want, root pouch, whatever you want to call it. Uh, one deer down. That's a blueberry as well, but it's a deciduous one. So certainly, for me, the non-deciduous is the way to go. We don't get snow, so there's no sense it losing its leaves and find it. Wanted to show you, that's um, a lot of spinach. It's going quite well, isn't it? Um, few more herbs there's a few little cherry tomatoes hidden in there 
Um, but the other thing we've got, and I'll just turn you off and then take you into, oh look, you can see passion fruit in the background. We're doing all right with passion fruits again. Quite a silver beet, it's going all right. Uh, the beehives are still going okay. I'm not gonna bother showing you them. I wanna show you the other pots. That's a pot of potatoes there. Uh, we've had some really pretty irises out. You can see there's quite a lot of flowers out at the moment. Uh, it really does look nice. Kumquats on. Made a stroke of genius. <laughs> I'm obviously using that phrase very loosely. Um, I bought some buckets for about four bucks. They're 20 litre buckets. I bought some S hooks you can see in there. And what I'm doing is hanging from the cross, strong cross members of the fence the buckets with extra potatoes in. So those ones around the front. Uh, which oddly enough you'll probably see soon um, I've thinned the potatoes out and I've put them in these buckets which will hang on the fence near some tomatoes in those um, terracotta pots um, and hopefully an otherwise unused space will become a potato haven um, I'm thinking also I could hang some on the bottom underneath the top ones uh, if I drill holes in the bottom of the buckets, that would let them drain straight through and water the ones below, which would save me some watering. What I've done at the moment is I've just drilled holes in the sides. Now the idea of that is in case I decide to make a wicking pot out of these later, I'll wick to about there and that can also act as the overflow. Um, so we'll keep an eye on those as time unfolds and see how they go, hey? Probably the final one is there's another pot of potatoes. Um, so I had to buy a kilo of seed potatoes and it looks like that's paid off pretty well. Um, be really keen to see how this goes, folks. Last thing I promise. So you can see the terrariums are in fact a breeding. For some reason I've re really enjoyed doing them. Um, as you could tell I've done a few really. Why has that bird got shine on him? See if I can get a better. Oh, there you go. Uh, that's a new one with a fairy house in there. That one, I'm not gonna try to sell him. He's been used as plant stock at the moment. That's why that that one in center of screen now is so looking so funny. Uh, but there you go. What do we got? Seven, seven little terrariums at the moment. Well. Hopefully that's provided a short video with just enough to amuse you and I'll catch ya. See ya folks.